Um, if you welcome to the stage, Lauren Mellor, who's going to be talking about sex ed for adults. See, you're all excited now. But when I was in school, I literally had like one class and it was absolute shit. <laughs> so as an adult, I basically had to relearn a lot of this information. And obviously due to my job and stuff as well, I realised how much information has changed. So um, we all basically have either XX chromosomes or we have XY chromosomes. If someone is intersex, they could have a mixture of chromosomes as well. But the egg is actually the thing that carries the X and it's the sperm that actually determines the sex of the baby. So this is why Henry VIII is a bit of a nomad because he was going around chopping heads off trying to have a male heir when all along it was his sperm that was determining the sex. So when our genitals developed, they actually all developed as a labia, so as a vulva. So the reason why there's actually a seam up the scrotum down the middle is because when someone has an XY chromosome, that basically forms together to create like what holds testicles. Um, so we all actually have all of the same, um, what's it called, erectile tissue. So it literally is the exact same thing, it's just formed in a different way. So the reason why there's actually more <laughs> nerves, <laughs> the reason why there's more nerves in the clitoris is because it's just focused into a smaller area. So a mind-blowing thing is actually a large majority of this is internal and it was only in 2005 that it was actually discovered by Helen O'Connell um, when she's done an MRI scan as well. So we all actually get bonus. So regardless of what your genitals are, when we are aroused, the blood rushes to that area and you can see the way that this is really engorged. So also, what was I going to say about being engorged? Oh yeah, so the G-spot is actually like a bit of a myth. So it's actually the internal part of the clitoris that is a pleasure point. So in society, we typically call the vagina all of the genital area, but the correct term is actually the vulva when we're thinking of the clitoris, the inner labia, which is the lips, and the outer labia as well. So a really annoying myth is people saying like the tighter the better, but actually the vaginal walls are always touching, even though we might think of it as a tube. But when someone's more aroused, it actually becomes wider, so it's actually a positive thing. So if you've ever heard of the term pop your cherry, this is usually referring to someone's first time having sex or the breaking of the hymen. But actually it doesn't pop or rip, it just stretches. And actually a theory around this is to actually stop bacteria from travelling inside the vagina as a baby. So this is actually what the hymen looks like so it's not typically a sheet of skin that covers all of the vaginal area because if you think about when someone's having a period that period blood needs somewhere to go so it's typically more of a donut shape and um, so actually talking about periods and um, it's actually a really healthy thing as well to have period sex it's not going to be for everyone but there's loads of benefits so it's good for cramps reducing pain helps to feel more connected to your body as well and um, if you do sort of hold like any shame around that um, and sex is diverse, so typically when we think about sex, people assume that it's like penis and vagina and the rest of sex is foreplay, but this is a, like not a lot of people have penis and vagina sex, obviously people have different sexualities, so that's excluding like oral sex, anal sex. Um, and solo pleasure as well, there's so many benefits to solo pleasure. It helps you feel more connected to your body to be able to actually communicate to your partner what feels good to you, but it also reduces stress by releasing oxytocin in the brain. Um, <laughs> if you do master using porn it's really good to make sure that you use an ethical porn site like Erica Lux, Erica Lux, X Confessions, Belisa, Pink Label which has some really cool like vintage porn if you're into that and there's also <laughs> Dipsy which is more of like an auditory description as well and um, so also from porn it can be a lot of body shaming and not a lot of diversity so the vulva actually looks so diverse so it's actually quite common that the inner lips are longer than the outer labia as well and that there's going to be different shades of colour even just for like one person and the same with the penis so it's quite natural if there's like a curve if it curves up that can be like really good for pleasure if there's more foreskin if it's smaller if it's thinner like bodies are diverse and that should be something that's celebrated um, so yeah stay safe so not a lot of people actually know that a lot of STIs don't come with any symptoms at all so the most important thing is using conscious like using condoms and also making Making sure that you get tested and um, so some safe like sex tips so dental dams for same sex couples and um, get the right size condom or if it's too tight it will split or it could potentially fall off 
and include lube when you are having anal sex as well because if there's any tears in the tissue that can put you at a higher risk of an infection and um, so pleasure tips just to finish on so mindful touch if you're quite stressed this will bring you back into your body and um, teasing the prostate and the clit are really key pleasure points include lube always and um, eye contact is amazing for building more intimacy and also communication otherwise there's no other way to know what someone enjoys and what is actually good for you as well um, thanks <laughs>